Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. The wife of the former president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari Dovis. He said, we the first lady, we they stand beside the president. We they do our own official duty and what have you. We not be with the vote into office, but we they walk alongside our husbands. Yes, we they work together to ensure, say, the administration, the government go away. We they do everything we possibly can. He said, no, nah, no. Nah. Uh, he said, where is our entitlement? He said, because Buhari or Sibanjo are going home with billions, billions of Naira. Haven't served for eight years. That is their entitlement. They are going home with billions. He said, but the first ladies who served, you know, for eight years, they abandoned their own personal uh, jobs and all that. And now they are practically entitled to nothing. You know, so they, they, they give a shock us. He said, so what exactly is going on here? What exactly is going on here? How come we not get anything? They try to understand them, you know. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. We are first ladies. Where is our entitlement? Aisha Buhari asks. As Buhari or Sibanjo goes home with billions. Upon leaving office today, President Muhammad Buhari Vice President Yemi Osibanjo and ministers, among others, will go home with billions of Naira as souvenirs package. The development happening in a strategic, in a struggling economy has sparked outrage. The funds represent their total disengagement benefit as prescribed by the Revenue Mobilization and Fiscal Allocation Commission. Meanwhile, wife of the president Aisha Buhari has emphatically made a case for some entitlement for the first ladies like the former president Aisha Buhari has explained that wives of former leaders deserve special provision while in office and when they leave. According to her, the entitlement include vehicles, sponsored medical treatment and provision of stipends. She said, when pressure comes, nobody wants to know whether you are out of office or out of Asso Rock or Villa or not. The first lady spoke at the launching of a book in Abuja titled The Journey of a Military Wife, authored by the president of the, of the president of defense and police officers wife association, Mrs. Vicky Irabo. She said, I married my husband as a wife of a former president. I am going in a, in a few days as the wife of a former president. A second time, this should consider, they should consider me as former first ladies. They should incorporate and incorporate the first ladies as well. You know, give us some privileges they should, that we deserve as first ladies, not just former president, commending a rabble for the book. Buhari's wife noted, it is fickle, emotional book that will help officers' wife navigate their lives. It's underscored women as agents of stability for the nation. As the nation battles insurgents and other security challenges, it's a guide of reference for military wives and the need for better spouse of military widows. Insights from the book will help readers appreciate the challenges of the military family. It says which are we are reducing cost of governance as part of the as part of the mandates and saddled with the responsibility of prescribing salaries allocations and benefit for officers and officers holders. Section thirty two D since its establishment by decree forty nine of the nineteen eighty nine the commission has been proposing salaries and allowance for this category of public office holders, especially section 32D of part one of third of third scheduled for the 1999 constitution empowers and commission to pro proposes the revenue formula fitted fitting the public office holder. The last time the salaries of public officers and other designated officers were reviewed was 2008. It was, it was stipulated that officer 
public officers, wife holders would earn 300% of their annual basic salary upon disengagement. The president upon relinquishing power, according to the Remission Act of 2008 document sent by newsmen, would receive 10,054 10, million. 10, 10.54 million, representing 30% of his annual basic salary. This total package basic salary and allowance of 1.2 million monthly, Vice President Yemil Sibanjo, who will take home 1.1 million monthly pay, which translates to 12.1 12 million monthly, is entitled to 30% of the basic salary, and says this must be, must be done so that the wife and the families of the president and vice president are not left to just depending on the president alone where is the benefit for the vice for the wives of the president and the vice president so this now waiting aisha don't talk say we say it won't make things better it won't make things change so now there we did we don't watch them and we did look everything and uh, it is important to begin to put things in place and ensure say we not allow the same thing to hold us down yes it is important that nigeria you know uh, these people are going home with lots of money we know that they are going on with loads of money and she's fighting for her incoming uh, you know uh <clears throat> first ladies and the uh, vice president uh, first ladies as well uh, or second lady so now there we did we did watch her and we did see how she defies say we say may they get their own entitlement say osi banjo and buhari are going home with billions what about her and other women you know so this is where we are at so they want this nation to be better uh, they want uh, them to also have their own and uh, they say they don't want they say they depend on the men so they want to get their own thing yes so now there we do. So this is exactly what is happening. Aisha Buhari say we say may they say remember say they did themselves say they did they. So may they remember may Nigerians remember say they themselves say they did they. Anyway, my lovely wonderful people, it is a matter of serious uh, 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 consideration for you to tell me what you think. As Aisha Buhari does say we say they won't see their own entitlement. Say not be only. A president and vice president will get all the ministers will get all this plenty money why them he said we will serve all of themselves we don't finish now we don't call get anything say no correct anyway my lovely wonderful people please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news remember say yourself you get voice so god bless bye for now